Hello, this is Andrea from Verbling.com, and this is an English lesson where we will work on our reading and pronunciation. This is for beginner and intermediate students that want to improve their pronunciation, and when you improve your pronunciation, you improve your speaking, and people will understand you more. So this is a very useful class, especially if you are still trying to figure out how to say all of the words in English. Not all vowels and consonants are the same word to word to word, so this is a good chance for you to work on that, and we will read poems and short stories to look at that. And we have Marco, welcome. Hi, I'm Hi. Gert. I'm Gert, how are you doing? I'm doing well. And Marco, you, you have had a class with me before, right? This is not your first class with me. Oh, yes, this is your, my first class with you. Oh, okay, I must have two students named Marco then. <laughs> okay, good. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. And you. Marco, where are you from? I'm from uh, Italy. Italy. Okay, great. Great. Well, welcome. Uh, we're glad you're here. When we have more people, we will get started. We have a poem today, and then also it's not a short story, but it is part of a book. So we will do both of those if we have time. Um, let me test the Verbling chat box. Make sure it works. Yes. Okay. Good. Hi, Victor. Hello, Andrea. How, How are, are you? you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Good. We are. I'm ready to read. To <laughs> yes, I'm ready to read. <laughs> okay. Good. And we have Oscar. I'll let his chat load there. Um, well, he's well. Everybody is getting here. I just wanted to put a link in the chat box for my Facebook page. Um, this is new. I have a new Facebook page. So if you go to my Facebook page and like my page, then you can get in contact with me and you can tell me things that you need to work on and I'll try to make classes that fit what you need to work on. So it's a good way to, to be able to talk to me. So uh, that's new. I have a Facebook page. If you like me on Facebook, then you can send me messages and that's really fun. So look at that and if you want to be in contact with me, you can like it. And Oscar, welcome to class. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. How are you doing? I'm doing well. And you? Doing well. And we have Joy. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good, good. And we have Igor again. Welcome. Hi, Igor. Hi. Thanks. How are you doing? Uh, I'm mean, doing well. Good. Good. Okay, and we have Vincenzo. Hey, Vincenzo. Turn your microphone on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no there you go. <laughs> How are you? I'm well. How are you? <laughs> fine, fine, thanks. Good. I'm uh, always a beginner in this, in this field, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, good. Uh, I think we have a full class today. I think maybe we will have three more people show up. But we have two things that I want to read today. I have a poem, and I have um, something that is not a short story, but it is part of a book. So we will look at that. It's a chapter of a book, chapter one of The Wizard of Oz. Uh, you may have seen the movie of that. Uh, it's an American movie from a long time ago, The Wizard of Oz. So we will be looking at the first chapter of that book. There. Okay, and we have Ahmed. Welcome. Hi, welcome. Hi, how are you? I am fine, and you? Doing well. We'll get started. I have the link to our poem first. We will do that in the beginning. This poem is called The Walrus and the Carpenter. And I will also put the poem on the screen so that you can look at it, you can read it. Um, let's put the screen up. Here we go. Okay, so this is about a walrus. A walrus is a kind of animal. And when I put it on the screen, you'll see a picture. Okay, um, this is a walrus here. 
just in case you're not sure, the big fat animal. So mm -hmm. that is one of the characters in this poem is a walrus. So there's a walrus, and then there's also a carpenter. Mm -hmm. And a carpenter is some, a person who builds things. Like if you are a carpenter, you may build a house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So. so those are the two characters. Now, walruses cannot talk, but we just pretend here. So that is, that is what this poem is about. It is about a walrus and a carpenter, and they talk to each other. So in this class, I will read a section, and then when it's your turn, you will read it back to me. And we will just take turns. So, Ahmed, you are first. And I will read these two sections here. And then after that, you will read after me. And I will put the screen on. There we go. OK, here we go. The sun was shining on the sea, shining with all his might. He did his very best to make the billows smooth and bright. And this was odd because it was the middle of the night. The moon was shining sulkily because she thought the sun had got no business to be there after the day was done. It's very rude of him, she said, to come and spoil the fun. So Ahmed, go ahead. Yes. The sun was shining on the sea, shining with all his might. He did his very best to make the polo polos so, so much and pretty bird and his was all because it was the middle of the night the moon was shiny sh so so kill because she thought the sun had got on business to the there after the day was done. It's very ritual of him, she said, to come and spot the fun. Okay, thank you. A few words here. The first line we have the word shining. Say that. Say shining. Shining. Like a diamond. No? Shiny. Shining. Shining. Yes. And then say might. Might. And now say bright here. Bright. And now say night. Night. Uh huh. Go back to bright. Bright. And then might. Might. Yes. And make. Make. Billows. 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 Can everybody hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Ahmed, say yes. billows. Billows. Okay. Smooth. Smooth. And now say this. This. Okay. And then say middle of the night middle of the night yes now this word is sulkily 
sulkily. Mm -hmm. So if the moon, it says the moon is shining sulkily. The moon is kind of angry. It is sulking. If you sulk, it's like you are frowning. You are making a, a face that, that shows that you are unhappy. So that word, one more time, is sulkily. Try it. Sulkily. Mm -hmm. And say thought. 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 Mm -hmm. And no. No. No business. No business. And now say to be there. To be there. Yes. And then this word is rude. Would. Rude. Rude. Yes. So if you are rude, you are not polite. <clears throat> and then this word is spoil. Spoil. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Next will be Igor. And welcome, Yuki. Hi, Yuki. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, 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 pretty good. Th thank you. Good. Okay, Igor, I will read this section and then you will read back to me. The sea was wet as wet could be. The sands were dry as dry. You could not see a cloud because no cloud was in the sky. No birds were flying overhead. There were no birds to fly. The walrus and the carpenter were walking close at hand. They wept like anything to see such quantities of sand. If this were only cleared away, they said it would be grand. Okay, Igor, go ahead. The sea was wet as wet could be. The sands were dry as dry. You could not see a cloud because no cloud was in the sky. No birds were flying overhead. There were no birds to fly. The warriors and the captain were walking close at hand. They wept like anything to see such quantities of sand. If there were only cleared away, they said, it would be great. All right, thank you. Second word, say C. C. Mm -hmm. And now say sands. Sands. And now the sands. The sands. Mm -hmm. And were. Were. Birds. Birds. Birds were. Birds were. Uh -huh. Birds were flying. Birds were flying. Mm -hmm. And now say walrus. Wal wal walrus. Yeah, that one's tricky. Walrus. <laughs> walrus. Uh huh. A walrus, and if you are, if you missed it, a walrus is a big animal like this. That's a walrus here. You can see the picture. Okay, uh, and then Igor say anything. Anything. Now put more emphasis, make any stronger, anything. Anything. Yes, and now say cleared. 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 Yes, and wood. 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 Really close. Wood. Wood. Okay. All right. Thank you. And Joy, you will be next. Yes. And we'll do next two sections. If seven maids with seven mops. Oh, if you are not speaking, please turn your microphone off. There's a little bit of extra noise. So if you are not speaking, Please mute yourself. Turn the microphone off, and then that will help. Thank you. It's already better. Okay, here is this, this next section. If seven maids with seven mops swept it for half a year, 
Do you suppose, the walrus said, that, that they could get it clear? I doubt it, said the carpenter, and shed a bitter tear. Oh, oysters, come and walk with us, the walrus did beseech. A pleasant walk, a pleasant talk, along the briny beach. We cannot do with more than four to give a hand to each. Okay, go ahead. If seven maids with seven mops swept it for half half a year, do you suppose the war is said that they that they could get it clear? I I doubt it," said the carpenter, and shed shed a bitter tear. Oh, oysters! Come out and walk with us. The walrus did be beseech. A present walk, a present talk along the briny beach. We cannot do with more than four to give a hand to each. Okay, thank you. First line we have the word maids. 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 Yes, try to connect the your consonants more, the D and the S. Maids. Maids. Yes. And seven. 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 So the first syllable is strong. Seven. Seven. Uh huh. Seven mops. Seven mops. Uh huh. Suppose. Suppose mm -hmm. and could get it clear. Could get it clear. Yes, clear. Clear. Yes, and then could get it clear. Could get it clear. Uh huh. And this word is bitter. Bitter. Yes. So this is one another word where. The T sounds is, the T is like a D. We say bitter and not bitter. Bitter. Okay, and Joy, say beseech. Beseech. Uh huh. Beseech is just a fancy word to say said. The walrus did say, but we are saying beseech because it's a little bit fancier. And say pleasant. Pleasant. Uh, first syllable, oops, sorry. First syllable is strong. Pleasant. Pleasant. Yes. And then say more than four. More than four. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, Marco, you will go next. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Yes, teacher. All right. You'll do the next two uh, sections. Yeah. The okay. eldest oyster looked at him, but never a word he said. The eldest oyster winked his eye and shook his heavy head, meaning to say he did not choose to leave the oyster bed. But four young oysters hurried up, all eager for the treat. Their coats were brushed, their faces washed, their shoes were clean and neat. And this was odd because, you know, they hadn't any feet. Go ahead. Okay. The eldest oyster looked at him, but never a word he said. The eldest oyster winked his ear and shook his heavy head, meaning to say he did not choose to leave the oyster bed. But four younger oysters hurried up. Whole area for the treat. Their coats were brushed, their face washed, their shoes were clean and neat. And this was hard because you know they hadn't any fit. Thank you. Uh, say eldest. Eldest. Try with just the e sound, so not eldest, but I want 
eldest. Try that. Eldest. Yes. And eldest is just another way to say oldest. Ah. And then say looked. Looked. And winked. 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 Yes. And hurried. Hurried. Now this one I need H sound. Hurried. Hurried. Yes. Brushed. Brushed. Washed. Washed. Yes, yeah, so all of these, it's not looked or winked, always looked, winked, hurried, brushed, washed. Um, and then go to I. I. Uh huh. And say leave. Live. Leave. Leave. Yes. And say coats. Coats. Yep. And there. There. Neat. Neat. More of an E sound. Neat. Neat. Yes. Odd. Odd. Yes. Uh, try with no H sound. Odd. Odd. Yes. And feet. Feet. Yes. Thank you. And You're welcome. Os Oscar, you'll do the next section. Yes. Okay. Four other oysters followed them, and yet another four, and thick and fast they came at last, and more and more and more, all hopping through the frothy waves and scrambling to the shore. The walrus and the carpenter walked on a mile or so, and then they rested on a rock conveniently low. And all the little oysters stood and waited in a row. Go ahead, Oscar. Yes. For other oysters followed them, and here another four, and did and fast they come at last, and more, and more, and more. And hoping throw the forty walks and scrambling to the shore. The wildest and the carpenter walk it on a mail or sword, and then they rest on rod, convenient love. The time has Come, the world said. The oh, come. that's that's all you need, Oscar. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Just Thanks. these, just these two here. Okay, uh, Oscar, say other. Others. Uh huh. Oysters. Oysters. Yeah, an oyster is kind of like a clam. It's another kind of animal. It's an animal in the ocean. Um, and then say yet. Yet. Uh, give me more T. Yet. Yet. Yes. Thick. Thick. Uh huh. And say through. 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 Yes, really close. One more time. Through. Through. Uh huh. And scrambling. Scrambling. Yes, now this one, make sure your S sound is at the beginning. Scrambling. Scrambling. Yes, good. And walked. 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 Uh, don't say the L, no L sound, just walked. Walked. Yes, and then this word is conveniently. Conveniently. Yes, thank you. Uh, teacher, uh -huh. I have a question. Okay. Uh, writing chat, uh, a moment. Okay, so Oscar is writing a question into the chat? Yes. Okay. And uh, okay. Us means like, uh, it's another way to say we. So, like, all of us are here, and then as, 
has more of an ah sound with it. So Oscar, say us. Us. And as. And as. Yeah, so when I say as, I open my mouth a little bit more. Us uh, and as. As and as. Us. As. 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 Yeah, so more. It's I, I open my mouth more for as, and I, I'll just, let me turn the screen off. Oh, yeah. Thanks. So, no, hang on. Why? Okay. Um, I just, oh, why is this backwards? Sorry, guys. Let me get do this again. Don't know why it did that. Hi, Carmen. Uh, good morning, Andrew. Good morning to everybody. Sorry for being late. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just trying to figure out why my screen is backwards right now. Because we cannot read backwards. That's not good. I want to just turn off the screen share and turn it on again, but it's not doing that. I will switch to another screen, maybe. I think screen share is stuck, guys. I think it is frozen. Because I'm trying to turn it off. I'm trying to make it do something else, but it's not working. OK. We, it's good to have the screen, because you can see the words I'm talking about. Oh, how about this? I will just close this whole thing. Okay, yes, my I think my Hangout is frozen. So um, this is what I will do. I am going to leave the Hangout and come back. Okay. Okay, so I'm <laughs> going to leave for one second. Don't go away. No. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay hang on.
I don't, I don't hear you, Yugi. You are always <laughs> chatting. Yeah. I got it. Sorry, sorry. I got it. <laughs> no problem. I'm Please sorry. Sir. No problem. It had, I got. I left the screen. I left the hangout, and I came back, and then the there's a big problem with the getting back in. Like I would click. You have to click that you agree to the the rules. All of the yeah. rules of Google Hangouts. <laughs> So I was clicking that, and then it wasn't working, but now I got it. So <laughs> okay. let me just send Verbling a message because I was freaking out. <laughs> I was like, I can't get back in, but now it's okay. So let me just let them know. <laughs> okay. No problem, yeah. teacher. All you right. are very good. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's really <laughs> the best, best, uh, the best teacher. I'm the best teacher. Yeah, for it. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. Okay, so now let's see if the screen share works. Um, put this up. Oh my gosh, now I close it. Now I have to get the browser up again. This is a mess. Can't find it though. So we were on the walrus and the carpenter. Okay. I want to find the same website. Two, so that you can see the same font. Here we go. Okay, got it. Let's put this on the screen now. See if maybe it will not be backwards. I don't even remember whose turn it was. I think it was Victor's turn. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, yay! Now it works. All right. Um, we are at... The walrus starts a speech. I know he says the time has come. There it is. Okay, Victor, we'll continue. The time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things, of shoes and ships and sealing wax, of cabbages and kings, and why the sea is boiling hot and whether pigs have wings. But wait a bit, the oysters cried, before we have our chat, for some of us are out of breath, and all of us are fat. No hurry, said the carpenter. They thanked him much for that. The time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things, of shoes, of ships, and sealing wax, of cabbages and kings, and why the sea is boiling hot, and where the pigs have wings. But wait a bit, the oysters cried, before we have our chat. For some of us are out of breath, and all of us are fat. Not, no hurry, said the carpenter. They thanked him much for that. Okay, thank you. Say, um, cabbages. Cabbages. Uh -huh. And then kings. Kings. And wings. Wings. Okay. Sea. Sea. Boiling. Boiling. Yes. Boiling hot. Boiling hot. Uh-huh. And do this whole line here. And why the sea is boiling hot. And why the sea is boiling hot. Okay. And, then, and whether pigs have wings. And whether pigs have wings. Yes. Now, pigs has a more short I with an I sound. Pigs. Pigs. And same thing with bit. Bit. Yes. Um, and then say chat. Chat. Uh huh. And fat. Fat. That. That. Uh huh. And the last line, they thanked him much for that. They thanked him much for that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Vincenzo, you're next. If we run out of poem, if we get through the poem before we everybody gets a chance, we'll go back to the beginning so everyone can have a chance. To there the is poem. you, Yuki. Uh, no, Vincenzo, you're next. Okay. I'm just going down the line. Okay. Yeah. A loaf of bread, the walrus said, is what we chiefly need. Pepper and vinegar, besides, are very good indeed. Now, if you're ready, oysters, dear we can begin to feed. But not on us, the oysters cried, turning a little blue. After such kindness, that would be a dismal thing to do. The night is fine, the walrus said, 
Do you admire the view? Go ahead, Vincenzo. A loaf of bread, the world said, is what we chiefly need. Pepper and vine vinegar, besides, are very good indeed. Now, if you are ready, oysters, dear, we can begin to feed. But not on us. But at the moment. But not on us. The oysters cried, turning a little blue, after such kindness, kindness that would be a dismal thing to do. <clears throat> the night is fine, the world said. Do you admire the view? Okay, thank you. And Vincenzo, say loaf. Loaf. Uh huh. And this is vinegar. Vinegar. Yes. Vin vinegar. Vinegar. Yeah. So it has. It looks like it has the word vine in it. Like the kind of plant is a vine, but we pronounce this. Um, this liquid vinegar is like you make salad dressing yeah, out vinegar. of it. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, vinegar. Yes. Okay, and then we have your. Make your? sure you. Yeah, so Vincenzo, we know that that's you are, but try to make your. pronounce your instead of your. you are. Yeah. Uh -huh. your. One more time. Your, yeah. Your. Uh huh. And then say little. Little. Yeah. Can you make your I sound like, like mine? Little. Little. Yes. And kindness. Kindness. Uh huh. And dismal. Dismal. Yeah, dismal is another word for pathetic or really bad, really sad. Uh, yeah. Uh, pathetic. Pathetic. Yeah, dismal. Dismal. Uh huh. Good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, Yuki, you've been very patient. You do the next couple sections. Okay. It was so kind of you to come, and you are very nice. The carpenter said nothing but cut us another slice. I wish you were not so quite so deaf. I've had to ask you twice. It seems a shame, the walrus said, to play them such a trick. After we've brought them out so far and made them trot so quick. The carpenter said nothing but the butters spread too thick. It was so kind of you to come, and you are very nice. A carpenter said nothing but cut us another slice. I wish you were. I wish you were not quite so deaf. I I've had to ask to ask you twice. It seems it it seems it seems a shame. The walrus said to play them such a trick. After we have brought them out of, out so far, and made them trot so quick, the carpenter said nothing but the butter spread to to thick. Okay, thank you. And Yuki say the word wish here. Wish. Uh huh. And deaf. Death. Death. Yes. Death. Death. Uh huh. I've had. I've had. Uh -huh. Now, I've had to ask you twice. I've had to ask you twice. Yes. And walrus? Walrus. 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 Yeah, that one's tricky. Walrus. Walrus. <laughs> <laughs> walrus. Walrus. Yeah. Walrus. <laughs> yeah. So, wall and then rus. Walrus. Walrus. Yes. Play. Play. And now trick. Trick. Quick. Quick. Thick. Thick. Yes, thick. they all have that I sound in there. One more time. Trick. Trick. Quick. Quick. Thick. Thick. Uh-huh. And now do that last line. The butters spread too thick. The butter spread too thick. Yes. Good. Okay, thank you. And thank you. um Carmen, you need to go, so you'll do the next part. I weep for you, the walrus said. I deeply sympathize. With sobs and tears he sorted out those of the largest size. Holding his pocket handkerchief before his streaming eyes, 
Oh, oysters, said the carpenter, you've had a pleasant run. Shall we be trotting home again? But answer came there none. And that was scarcely odd because they'd eaten every one. Okay then. I weep for you, the walrus said. I deeply sympathize. With sobs and tears he sorted out those of the largest size. Holding his pocket handkerchief before his streaming eyes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oysters, said the carpenter, you've had a pleasant run. Shall we be trotting home again? But answer came there none. And that was scarcely odd because they've eaten every one. Okay, good. Now, Carmen, you have developed more of a UK accent, so I'm not going to try to, to mess that up. Um, so what we're going to do is work more on the, the rhythm and the word stress in this. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, in this line, say, I deeply sympathize. I deeply sympathize. Yeah. And uh, when you're saying sympathize, um, here we keep the first syllable a little bit stronger. Um, okay. The first syllable is a little bit strong, but also the second, the third syllable is also a little bit strong too. Sympathize. Sympathize. Yes. Okay. okay. And say, those of the largest size, so give me an emphasis on largest. Those of the largest size. Yes. Uh huh. Largest. And then, holding his pocket handkerchief. Holding his pocket handkerchief. Uh huh. And now, say, shall we be trotting home again? So emphasis on home. Okay. Shall we be trotting home again? Yes. Good. And but answer came there none. But answer came there none. Uh huh. And then um, say this phrase here: scarcely odd. It's scarcely odd. Uh huh. And that was scarcely odd because. And that was scarcely odd because. Uh huh. They'd eaten every one. They'd eaten every one. Yes. Good. Thank you. Poems are really good because you can you can see the word stress a little bit more clearly. Mm -hmm. And that was perfect. We finished the poem and everyone got a turn. So I have another thing for you to read. And we'll pull it up. This is um, the first part of the book called The Wizard of Oz. You might have seen the movie, but it was a book first. And uh, we just have about 15 minutes. We'll, we will um, get started with that. Um, we'll go backwards this time, so Yuki, you go. Okay. And I'll read um, this first paragraph here. So. From me? Yes. Yes? Yes, but I'll go first. Okay. I'll read and then you read. I'm sorry. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dorothy lived in the midst of the great Kansas prairies with Uncle Henry, who was a farmer, and Aunt Em, who was the farmer's wife. Their house was small, for the lumber to build it had to be carried by wagon several... Oh, sorry, by... I'll do that sentence again. Their house was small, for the lumber to build it had to be carried by wagon many miles. There were four walls, a floor and a roof, which made one room, and this room contained a rusty-looking cook stove, a cupboard for the dishes, a table, three or four chairs, and the beds. Uncle Henry and Aunt Em had a big bed in one corner, and Dorothy a little bed in another corner. There was no garret at all, and no cellar, except a small hole dug in the ground, called a cyclone cellar, where the family would go in case one of those great whirlwinds arose, mighty enough to crush any building in its path. It was reached by a trap door in the middle of the floor from which a ladder led down into the small dark hole. Okay, Yuki, go ahead. Okay. Dorothy lived in, in the mid, mid, midst of a great Kansas prairie with Uncle Henry, who was a farmer, and Aunt M, who, who was a farmer's wife. 
that house was small for for the number of the that for the number to build it had to be carried by wagon many miles mm -hmm. there was there were four walls a floor and a roof which made a one room and this room contained a rusty looking cook stove and a cupboard for the dishes and table three of four chairs and the beds Uncle Henry and Aunt M had a big bed in in one corner, and Dorothy a little bed in another corner. There was no garret at all, and no cellar except a, except a small hole dug in the ground, called the cyclone cellar, where the where the family could could go in case one of those great World winds arose, mighty enough to crush any building in its path. It was reached by the trap door in the middle of the floor, from which a ladder led down into the sm small dark hole. Sorry, there you go. Led down into the small dark hole. And led down into the small dark hole. Yes, okay. And you can say midst. 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 Uh huh. Prairies. Prairies. Uh -huh. Prairies. 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 There. There. And uh, this word dishes. Dishes. Yeah, more Dish. of a short I sound. Dishes. Dishes. Uh huh. And. Chairs. 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 It rhymes with share. Chairs. Chairs. Okay, and um, say big bed. Big bed. Uh huh. And then also say, um, there it is. Where. Where. Uh huh. Where. Where. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Vincenzo, yeah, Vincenzo, you'll do the next section. I'll try to do short section, shorter sections for this one, so maybe we can get through everybody. When Dorothy stood in the doorway and looked around, she could see nothing but the great gray prairie on every side. Not a tree nor a house broke the broad sweep of flat country that reached to the edge of the sky in all directions. The sun had baked the plowed land into a gray mass, with little cracks running through it. Even the grass was not green, for the sun had burned the tops of the long blades until they were the same gray color to be seen everywhere. Once the house had been painted, but the sun blistered the paint and the rains washed it away, and now the house was as dull and gray as everything else. Go ahead, Vincenzo. Yes, yes, yes. So there is a, a vertical bar that covers my disk. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I was not Okay. When Dorothy stood in the doorway and looked around, she could see nothing but the great gray prairie on every side. Not a tree nor a house broke the broad sweep of flat country that reached to the edge of the sky in all the directions. The sun had baked the plowed land into a gray mass with little cracks running through it. Even the grass was not green, for the sun had burned the tops of the long blades until they were the same gray color to be seen everywhere. Once the house had been painted, but the sun blistered the paint and the rains washed, washed it away, and now the house was as dull and gray as everything thing else. Okay, thank you. Say prairie. Prairie. Directions. Directions. Mm -hmm. One more time. Directions. Directions. Mm -hmm. Little. Little. Uh huh. And grass. 
grass? Green. Green. Mm-hmm. And gray? Gray. Yes. Grass, again. Grass. Green. Green. Gray. Gray. Uh-huh. Blistered. What is it there? Blister. Blistered. Yeah, one more time. Blistered. Blistered. Uh-huh. And um, rains. Rains. Uh-huh. Rains washed. Rains washed. Yes. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Victor, you'll go next. And do the next paragraph. When Aunt M came there to live, she was a young, pretty wife. The sun and wind had changed her, too. They had taken the sparkle from her eyes and left them a sober gray. They had taken the red from her cheeks and lips, and they were gray also. She was thin and gaunt and never smiled now. When Dorothy, who was an orphan, first came to her, Aunt M had been so startled by the child's laughter that she would scream and press her hand upon her heart whenever Dorothy's merry voice reached her ears, and she still looked at the little girl with wonder that she could find anything to laugh at. When Aunt M came there to live, she was a young, pretty wife. The sun and wind had changed her too. They had taken the sparkle from her eyes and left them a sober gray. They had taken the red from her cheeks and lips, and they were gray also. She was thin and gaunt and never smiled now. When Dorothy, who was an orphan, first came to her, Aunt Em had been so start startled by the child's laughter that she would scream and press her hand upon her heart whenever Dorothy's merry voice reached her ears. And she still looked at the little girl with wonder that she could find anything to love at. Okay. Uh, say live. Live. Uh-huh. Wind. Went. Wind. Wind. Lips. Lips. Thin. Thin. Uh-huh. And still. Still. Little. Little. Little girl. Little girl. Uh-huh. And heart. Heart. Uh-huh. Now say her heart. Her heart. Her heart. Her heart. Yeah, say her. Her. And her heart. Her heart. Yes. And um, this word is gaunt. Gaunt. Um, yes, and one more. Laughter. Laugh laughter. 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 Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have these two little paragraphs here. And um, Oscar, you can read these. Uh, teacher, yes. excuse me. Uh, the screen is is very is, is very big. Okay. I can make it smaller. Um, is that better? Mm. Can you read it? Uh, I, I, okay. 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 Uncle Henry never laughed. He worked hard from morning till night and did not know what joy was. He was gray also, from his long beard to his rough boots, and he looked stern and solemn and rarely spoke. Um, Oscar, just do that section since we don't have much time left. So this part Hi, here. Teacher. Uh-huh. I am sorry, don't see this where you read. Okay, maybe the screen is being strange again. Okay, how about now? So I'm highlighting the part right here. Can you see it now? Yeah, but this is uh, a bust, no life. It's perfect here. I don't know what's wrong with uh Huh. That's weird. Okay, well, um, Yuki has put a link into the Google chat box. 
Oh yeah, I am. So I am see. I am see. You see it? Okay. I am see this uh, better graph. Okay, you you see it now? Okay, also, somebody has the verbling stream open, so if you have verbling open, uh, don't uh, play the video, too. Uh, open where? Just a, an open tab somewhere. It's okay now. Don't worry okay. about it. Okay. Okay, Oscar, can you read that um, that place that I have highlighted? It started, it, it, uh, Uncle Henry never laughed. Right. Uncle, Uncle Henry never laughed. He worked hard from morning. Uh, excuse me, uh, there is a uh, echo. It's yes. a burbling. It's a burbling window. Someone's got it open. Yeah, make sure that you don't have burbling open. You only have the hangout open. He worked hard for morning till night and did not know what it was. He was gray also from his long beard to his road walls. And he loved and stared and tumbled and rarely spoke. Okay. Um, very quickly, laughed. Laughed. Worked. Worked. And morning. Morning. Gray. Gray. Rough. Rush. Rough. Rough. Boots. Boots. And solemn. Solemn. Mm -hmm. Rarely. Rarely. And spoke. 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 Try not to have an e eh sound, just spoke. Spoke. There you go. Good. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Okay, guys. Um, sorry that we didn't get to get through everybody twice. But um, I do these classes several times. Of oh no, is my microphone mute? Can you hear me? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Just, it's perfect. It's told me that my microphone is yes, muted, it is. but it's not no, muted. Not. Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I do these classes several times a week. So just look out for reading and pronunciation classes. Um, I'll put this in the verbling chat one more time. I have a new Facebook page. Uh, if you like me on Facebook, then you can contact me. You can send me a message, and I will also be asking you on Facebook what you want to learn. So if you have something you really want to work on, you can tell me, and I'll try to make a class for it. So um, I just put it in Verbling Chat, but I don't think it's working. I'll put it in Google Chat. Hang on. Okay, I also put it into Google Chat. Okay. So, yeah. So that's another way that you can contact me. I'm also available for tutoring, so you can get a tutoring session with me now. That's new as well. So um, I have to go to the next class. We're doing some role play, so I hope to see you then. And if not, I hope you have a good day. Okay. Thank you, Andrea. Okay. Thank you, Bye. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Ciao, ciao.